This video will focus on using the array model for division expressions. So our problem is 312 divided by 13. I'm going to start by decomposing the 13 as 3 plus 10. This is going to allow me to build it using place value blocks. I know that my dividend, 312, is my total that should be in the inside of my rectangle. So I'm going to build my quotient up top. So I'm going to first start by putting down a 10 and thinking 10 times 10 equals 100. 1 times 10 equals 10. 1 times 10 equals 10. 1 times 10 equals 10. So far in the inside of my rectangle, I have 130. So I'm going to keep track of what is in my inside with subtraction on this side. So, so far I still need to have an additional 182 in the middle to equal 312. So I know I have enough to put down another 10 for my quotient because that would give me an additional 130. So now I'm going to subtract that from what is remaining. And when I see, I don't have enough to put down another 10, so I'm going to start putting down 1's for my quotient. So 10 times 1 is 10, 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 1 is 1, and then 1 times 1 is 1. So now I have 13 that I need to subtract. Again, I don't have enough to put 10, but I can continue putting down ones as my quotient. And I know that this column should look exactly like the column that I had just built. So I have another 13 that I have placed for my dividend. And I can see that I can build another one for my quotient. And I'm gonna take away another 13 and I'm getting super close, so I know just one more will get me to a total of 312 on the inside. So I can double check to make sure that I have my total or my dividend of 312. So I have 100, 200. I know that 10 tens gives me another 100, so there's 300 and 312. You may wanna have students check that they have their total dividend on the inside. To figure out my quotient, I'm going to look at my top and the parts that I built. So I have 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So my quotient is 24.